Hello and welcome to this introduction presentation all about the new and innovative RiskOS Cloverleaf crowdfunding initiative. I'm Tom Williamson from the youtube.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep tech channel. Today, I've been asked to show you the graphical user interface of RiskOS and what free software and programs are at your disposal. RiskOS Cloverleaf is an updated desktop environment that was first released by Acorn Computers in the UK over 30 years ago. So let's take a detailed look at some of the user interface concepts RiskOS has to offer and how they all work. Here you can see how advanced the concept of RiskOS is and how much better it was compared to its competitors. On the lower left hand side you can see the taskbar and drives that are available. For example, the hard disk, SD card, and DVD drive or network drives. On the right hand side, you can see icons for the task manager, monitor, and organizer. All started programs will be shown on the right hand side. When you click on a drive, the file window opens. To get the on-screen menu for any program in RiskOS, click on the middle mouse button. For most mouses, this is the scroll wheel. Pressing the scroll wheel down is the same as a middle mouse click, known in RiskOS as the menu button. Menu sub-functions can be selected by pointing over the arrows on the right side of any menu entries. To configure RiskOS, middle click on the Task Manager icon and then left click the Configure Menu entry. Here you can customise your RiskOS system keyboard setup, language, pinboard, font, background and other settings. On the left hand side is the Apps icon for the standard applications included in RiskOS. These are all free and have been extended by commercial vendors. The classic RiskOS applications are Edit, a basic text editor which has now been replaced by StrongEd as it is much more powerful and optimised for programming. Paint, a basic bitmap graphics editing program. Draw, a basic vector graphics editing program. And finally, Maestro, a music notation program. More powerful are the former commercial programs that are now available for free for all RiskOS users. These are Pipe Dream, Impression Style and Fireworks. We will start with Fireworks, which is a combined word processor and spreadsheet program. Fireworks is opened with a double left click which loads it into the taskbar. As you can see, RiskOS programs don't open a window automatically. Only when you left click on the program will a new window be opened. When you click on the Fireworks icon, you can decide what type of document you want to create, text or spreadsheet, which in turn will open a new window session and you can start writing your document. You can see that RiskOS programs have no text-based top menus, just icons. Instead, press the middle mouse menu button anywhere on the window to view the main menu options. Using this method, styles can be applied easily to text. You can also add spreadsheet tables into your word processing document and also create graphs. Here are three example documents. One newsletter, one table with a pie chart, and a year planner made by Fireworks. Fireworks can also create complex tables and functions, demonstrated here by recreating the famous board game Minesweep. The object of the game being not to click on a mine or discover mines. Here you can see the programming code used to create the game. Next, 
let's take a look at desktop publishing program Impression Style. If you see this type of error when starting a program, it is because it has been written in 26-bit ARM assembler. To run it on a 32-bit RISC-OS system, you need to start a emulator app. Once loaded, you can then run Impression Style without problem. With a desktop publishing program like Impression Style, you can create print content such as magazines or books. You can also use it as a normal word processor. In this an example newsletter, you can define frames and insert text or images into them. Images can also be manipulated by scaling or rotating them. With advanced menu options selected by first clicking the middle mouse menu button over the desired content. You can also create a frame over an area of text which will automatically realign the text inside of it. Bitmap picture files, draw vector files or straight vector graphics from RISC-OS flagship software Artworks can also be dragged and dropped into frames. It is hoped that software like Impression Style will render its output about 20 to 100 times faster on our brand new production RISC-OS Cloverleaf hardware. Next is another multi-purpose program called Pipe Dream, which offers word processing, spreadsheets, databases and charts. Here is a simple example using a table from which we can generate a 3D chart with a simple mouse click. In addition, multiple options are available for other types of graphs. Results can then be saved as draw vector graphics, allowing for easy integration into other programs. One contribution existing RISC-OS users are already benefiting from is RISC-OS Cloverleaf's new chat program called ChatCube. It offers contacts to all RISC-OS users and also to other messenger clients such as Telegram. Additional instant messenger clients such as Twitter, Wire or 2RC will be added after the funding of our campaign is successful. Another very useful software addition is that of Organizer, which loads in at startup. By default, it shows the time and available free memory on the taskbar. When you open it, you can organize your appointments, save your anniversaries, manage your addresses and save notes. If you want to relax, you can also play games on RISC-OS Cloverleaf. They are original titles on the platform, as well as many retro conversions and ports like Doom, Wolfenstein and Lemmings. Many of these can be installed by two alternative app stores available in RISC-OS. One is Pac-Man, the other is Pling Store. Both supply different types of apps, tools and games. Some are free, others are purchasable. Currently, there are several free programming languages available for RISC-OS. The most famous of which is BBC Basic, which in turn provides direct access to the ARM assembler. BBC Basic is a standard module in RISC-OS, so it is ready to use to create your own RISC-OS programs and applications. Programming in assembler is more fun than you might think. It has easy access to all system calls to program and create any kind of app you want. This is also the reason why many professional programs for SQS have been written directly in ARM Assembler. Other languages available are C++, Python, PHP, Ruby, Perl, Risk Lua and Charm which in turn makes RISC-OS a perfect operating system platform for children to learn programming. Now for those who want to write their own RISC-OS programs, you can find the full programmer's reference guides as PDF files on the RISC-OS distribution, making it an ideal tool for ARM CPU tinkering and experimentation. Now finally, let's take a look at just how memory efficient RISC-OS really is. When left-clicking on the Task Manager icon, 
It will show you details of memory usage of programs and modules. On the top, you can see the loaded programs and how much memory they use. The next section shows the loaded modules. The modules that end with FS are related to the file system, with the last section showing the operating system memory usage. On this example RISC-OS system, we have 256 megabytes of RAM available. After loading several programs, such as a spreadsheet, word processor, desktop publishing, and some other apps, we still have more than 200 megabytes of RAM available for other processes or programs to use, meaning only 70 megabytes are actually in use by the OS and all running programs. Most RISC-OS programs are less than one megabyte in size. In the task manager, you can also easily create a RAM disk by simply dragging the size of RAM disk you need. In a future video, we'll look at the well-known and powerful RISC-OS vector graphics program, Artworks. But that's it for now. We hope you've enjoyed this introduction to RISC-OS Cloverleaf. For more information and to subscribe to our newsletter, make sure you visit www.riscoscloverleaf.com.